viewers, welcome back. A bit nippy today, got my extra layer on. Um, recently I had to do some uh, machining of some uh, repeat uh, parts. Um, one of the things I was repeating was the, the diameter I was turning down to. Um, and I came up with a little idea for the cross slide on the box of layer there. Uh, so I'll be able to do repeat work at any time. So this, this is just a few little short video uh, and a few little photographs for showing you, you know, what we did. So first thing we did, took the cross slide off the lathe, mounted it in the, the vise on the milling machine. Um, it's quite stable in there, just be, just be careful though because it, it is stuck up a little bit. We didn't get any chat or anything, just take light cuts in our sharp tool. And you can see I'll put a little bit of packing just between the, the face of the, the cross slide machine face and the jaw to protect it. And we're just using this down to get a nice um, flat row stock to go against. You've got to be wary of the box because the unmachined bases are quite rough casting. Uh, they just sort of run a file over a bit of filler and some paint. But uh, the machine face is what we're interested in when we're finished. And that's it there, nice uh, nice corner for us to for a stop to go against. Back in place, top slide back on. Doesn't interfere one bit, doesn't weaken it or anything for the running of the lathe. I utilise these two screws uh, that are in the, the carriage. Uh, I think they're used for the, the coolant, which I don't really use much uh, on the lathe, so I'll just, I'll just uh, utilise them for this job. So the first thing we're doing is drilling this to a, a ream in size. Uh, for the, the bar that we're using, <coughs> excuse me, just use um, whatever bar you have to hand. I think in this case, it might be quarter inch. So this will drill through and then, then reamed. The whole thing was uh, made out of, out of bits of scrap the head lying around. And what we're utilising here is the, uh, the stop that we have on the on the vise to drill this other hole for the, the, uh, for the little grub screw to go in. So as you see we remove it and we've already machined the, the, L, the L shape if you will um, and that just stops again so if we line up perfectly so we know the grub screw is in the centre of that hole. This is then drilled uh, for our grub screw I think it might have been 316 I'm not sure what we've used on this again it was just whatever we had to hand. Uh, I've already um, centre drilled this and just put it in tap and size. tap that now. So that's already tapped and uh, these are just got a little uh, chamfer on the edges of them and what I will do later I'll just uh, counterbore them to holes to clamp it onto the, the saddle. This is just the test of it so you can see the nice little stop so we can repeat the same position every single time without really looking for fast production work. There you can see I've just sort of took off from the edges and uh, I say countersunk counterboard them calf heads. So there you can see it installed, quite simple to adjust, just use a little allen key just uh, against your stock that we machined in the in the cross in the uh, cross slide there, set it to the depth once you've done your machining and every time you come back in you're at the same stop every single time. As you can see it repeats the same spot every time. One little extra thing I made was this, uh, well I made two of these little brass uh, collars. So you put one at the front of the fitting on the bar, one at the back. So if you're turning down to two 
different diameters or coming in with a chamfer tool you can then just pull it forward to your first stop and then push it back to your second stop so you can, you can either I said, turn two separate diameters down or you can turn down and then set it for a chamfer or whatever just gives you the extra scope instead of something on one setting this in effect gives you the two there we go job done as you say so yes yeah, so we know we've got a repeatable stop on the cross slide uh, so, so that combines with like you know you got, you got your carry stops and etc so with that we can see on the little video that it shows that you can get repeat down to half a thou every single time so when we're turning as long as you don't turn in with too much force um you know you just you know you're coming to to your, like your zero if you will um you can get the repeat every single time without having to reset the dials you can just do it without even, without even looking really uh, so it's just a little bit of a guide there. So if it's something, you know, maybe an addition to your lathe, it will work for any other lathe size of box goods. Um, and, you know, just please put comment below if you do that and let, uh, even send us some pictures. Don't mind liking and subscribing to the channel as usual. And until next time, YouTubers, it'll be great. Right.